Hello, I'm Luis, one of the field service managers with Isomatic. Today we'll be going over a gear uh, box diagnostic and replacement on a GEM and MFI unit. We will be using a GEM unit today to demonstrate that. To replace the gear box, there's a couple different methods we're going to do. We've already removed this from the machine. Um, the auger has already been removed. We, uh, you can go back to a previous video showing how to remove the auger. So again, for visual purposes, it's best uh, to be able to remove it. If you are removing this from the machine, you are going to have to remove the refrigeration so that it all can come out in one piece. The first thing we're going to want to do is remove this bottom insulation. Just unwraps underneath the evaporator. You're going to need a half inch wrench to get down to the four bolts that are underneath. And you're going to go on ahead and loosen all four of these bolts. Once we re remove the four bolts, we're going to go ahead and lift up our evaporator and set it aside. We, are, we have our drip pan here. You're gonna to wanna to remove that. You may wanna order one just in case because with time, this may start get brittle and break and you have a top gasket here as well with the water shed. Now we need to remove the gear motors. To be able to do that, we're just gonna use a quarter inch nut driver. So we're, here we have the stator. We're able to same time inspect our bearings. So now we're gonna reinstall our gearbox. So we sure wanna we make sure we have our gasket, gasket and our, and our shed. water shed is in place. We're gonna go ahead and grab our motor. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on our gearbox. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take your nut. And a little tip here, as you can see, through our vent holes, you should be able to see where your screw is going to be able to go. I always like to get one started and then get the other ones going. I always like to go around and make sure everything is nice and tight. We want to put in our drip pan. Now we're going to go ahead and take our evaporator and set it in place. Again, I like to make sure they're all in, in place before I tighten them all down. And I always like to go around and make sure everything is nicely secured. Now, because I am on a table, you may want to go ahead and make sure that they're nice and tight once they're in the machine and the assembly is now secured. And you may be able to check and make sure that they're still tight.